Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this elegant lacy pearl earrings. I'm showing really easy step by step so I'm sure by the end of this video you're gonna be able to make them by yourself with the clear instructions that I'm giving. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release absolutely free upcoming videos usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in only 3 minutes I show the whole project and you might go watch it and decide if you like making it or not. This saves you time and gives you the pleasure of watching the process of creation. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips. You might also want to go and subscribe there for new beading fast ideas. And down there in description you will also find the full list of materials, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads, golden and matte black. Here I use 8 o beads in this beautiful black color. These are 8 mm pearls. Uh, here I use ear wires in black color. You could use in golden color if you want. And uh, here I'm using monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line or other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. And now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and in my first step I'm going to take my pearl, okay, and I will go through it leaving here a small tail of thread and I'm going to pick up nine of these beautiful golden beads. Okay guys, and now I have my nine beads here and I'm going back in circle through this pearl and I'm holding this tail thread here with my thumb. And now guys I'm going to repeat this step but from the other side of my work. Okay, I'm taking nine seed beads. Okay, and I have my nine beads here. And what I do, still holding my tail thread, is that I go through this pearl in this direction, through the hole. Okay, now I have this. Then guys, what I do is that I go in this direction through all of those beads. Don't forget to hold your tail thread. Okay, now I have this. And here I want to stick my needle in my mat and I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made here and pulling. And then I could do one more knot just to be sure that it's all tight and secure. Okay, now I have this and in my next step I'm going again through this pearl and when I pull my knot hides inside this hole here, okay? So now what I do is that I go here in this direction. I want to go through all of the nine beads in this direction. And now I'm exiting where the hole of my pearl is and where my tail thread is and I'm going to take just one seed bit and I will go here through those beads in this direction and pull. 
Okay, I prefer to flip now because it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed. You might want to decide not to flip, it's up to you. Okay, and I'm going through all of those beads and I want to take one seed bead. Okay, now I have 9 plus 9 plus 2 more, I have 20 beads in total. Okay, now I'm exiting through one of my seed beads and I'm going to take just one seed bead here and I'm going back in circle through this bead and through the following. Okay, this is what I do. And then I pull. Okay. Then I take one more seed bead. I go through this bead in this direction through the first that I added. And then I go through these two beads here in this direction. Okay. And I have this. And now I'm going through this bead here that's on my way. I take just one seed bead and I go through this one here that I added last. And then I go again through these two beads in this direction. It's like I'm doing herringbone stitch, but one of my rows is already there. That is why I'm not adding two beads, but I'm adding one at each step. Okay. Then I go through this golden, like I did before. I take just one seed bead and go through this one here in this direction and pull. Then I go through these two seed beads. Okay. Another row of herringbone. If you're not familiar with the herringbone, don't worry, just follow the steps and everything will be okay. Now I take one golden bead. I go here through this bead in this direction, backwards. And then I go through these two beads. If you can, you could even go through the third one just to save time. Okay. And at some point, guys, this row here will start, will start bending to the center of the pearl. Okay, just continue this. Okay, I think you got the idea. Go through the following seed bit, take one, go back and like this. And continue these steps until the end of this row and then I'll be back to tell you how to finish it. Okay guys and as I continue beading this is what I have. You see how this row started to bend to the center. Okay and now I'm here where I'm going to add my last bead from this row. And I'm doing it like I showed you before. I'm going through this seed bead. I'm taking just one bead and I'm going back here through this one and one more time through all of those beads just like this. Now I have this and what you could do is additional reinforcement. Okay, you could go back and forth through the last beads to make them stay in a nice and tight manner. Okay. And what you could do is reinforce this last row that you did. And I flip my work, that is why this is the row that I added last. And I'm reinforcing it by going around it, just like this. OK, 
okay and i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and i reinforced this row and now you see what i have i have this beautiful circle of beads around my pearl and what i want to do next is go here between these four beads you see where my needle is exiting out of between these four beads in this direction and it's pointing from the center to the outside and now i'm going to take nine golden beads okay and i have my nine here and as i'm exiting here at this point between these four beads i'm skipping the next point between my next four beads i'm skipping it and i'm going through the following under the thread bridge that is between my beads here is a thread bridge and i'm going under it okay and i pull now guys what i do is that i go through these two seed beads two of my nine in this direction and i pull and this time i'm going to take seven seed beads why seven because i'm already going through two beads and when i take seven i will have nine in total and i will make this symmetry okay seven and now what i do is that i skip this next point here between the four beads i'm going through the following under the thread bridge that's there okay you see what i'm doing i'm going under this thread bridge it's invisible because my thread is clear but i'm going under it okay now i have this then in my next step i'm going through these two seed beads the same way like i did in my previous step okay and then i'm taking again seven seven and again skipping one point between the four and going under the thread bridge of the following okay go through two beads like i did before pick up seven okay i have my seven and i'm doing the same thing skipping one point and going under the thread bridge of the following okay guys and i think you got the idea Continue this until the last step of your row and meet me here to show you how I'm finishing this circle. Okay guys, and as you see, I continue the same way. I go here under this thread bridge and now I'm here at my last step where I will show you how I'm finishing this row. And first I do the familiar step i go through these two beads in this direction just like this and now i'm going to take five beads why five because i'm using two from this element and two from this element and five plus four is nine like all my other elements this element consists of nine beads okay now i'm exiting here and i'm going to continue with my next step i'm going here in the center of my work and my goal is to exit here through this bit the first bit that is closer to my central ring okay i'm going first through the center ring and then through this bit okay because it's easier for me now if you don't see my thread i'm exiting here after this first seed bead and i'm going to take one ato bead and i'm going in the same place here 
just like this. And I'm adding it here in the center of my work. Then I'm going again to the center. And my goal, guys, is to exit here through the first bead of my petal. Okay, the first one here. Okay, I'm exiting through this one. And I'm going to take one of these black beads. I go in the same place here and I pull. Okay, I'm zigzagging here. But later I'll be back and fill in the gaps. So then again, I go here in this direction. Now I'm exiting through this first golden bead and I'm going to take one black bead and I'm going again in the same place through this one seed bed bead that's closer to the center and then through the central row okay then i continue go through the center and through the very first bead here okay just like this and pull okay guys and i will continue this until the end of this row and i'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and here i'm adding my last bead from this row and then i will do something like a thread repositioning okay i will use this thread bridge and go back through it and through this bead I'm using the thread bridge so I it will be possible for me to go back through this bead. Okay, so now what I do is take one bead, go back here to the center and pull. Okay, just like this. Now I skip this row. And I do the same thing. I go here through the first seed bead of my petal. I take one of those beads and I go back. So now I do the same thing, but I'm zigzagging and filling the gaps. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Okay. Then what I want to do is the usual. Go here in the center. And then go in this direction. Through those beads exiting in the outer row then guys what i do is that i go in this direction and exit here one bit away from these overlapping beads and i take two black seed beads and i go here I'm going through the top three beads of this row and I take again two seed beads and I go through these three beads here on the top. Take two, go through the top three beads, two, and go through the top three beads okay guys and now i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last step where i need to add my last beads from this row just like this 
And what I do next is that I'm aiming for the next two black beads, okay? And what I need to take are five golden beads, okay? I have my five goldens here. And as I'm exiting through one of my black beads, I'm going through the other one, even through two of them. Okay, then I'm taking five again. Okay, five. Go through the following two black beads. Again, five. And go here. And this row is really pleasant and really easy. Just continue with it until the end and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go in this direction. Okay. Go through all of those golden beads. Take just one seed bead, one black seed bead, and go back in the same place through the other golden. Okay, and then pull, then go through all of the goldens in this direction. Take just one black and go here symmetrically through this golden and through all of the beads in this direction. You see how it looks? I'm taking one more, going here, like this, through all of those goldens, one more, go here, And this, guys, is the last row that I'm doing. And I will finish it and I will tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row. And if you want, you could go reinforce your work one more time to make it stay in a really good shape. And then when you're ready, I will show you how to attach your ear wire. I want to attach my ear wire here at the top. Okay, and I'm doing this by taking one seed bead, then my ear wire, then one more seed bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this seed bead here at the edge. And now what I do is that I reinforce my work. Okay. And now in my next step, I'm going here through these two seed beads at the angle and here what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making my knot by making a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I go through the following seed bead and you could do more and more knots but when you make the last knot, go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread, never cut next to a knot. And now my dainty, elegant earring is ready.
Okay guys, so now my lacy elegant earrings are ready and if you like them and you want to see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release new absolutely free tutorials, usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and you will also find a short clip of this video where in only about three minutes I show you the whole project and you will be able to decide if you feel like making it or not. You might also want to go and subscribe there for new beading ideas and inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.